four gold medals of the afternoon will go because there's some really open racing coming your way. Really looking forward to this next race. It's the C2 Women's 200. It's not an Olympic event. There is an Olympic champion boat in this field. In lane four, the Chinese combination of Zhu and Sun. They are world champions in the 500 metres, C2 500. They are Olympic champions in the C2 500. And here they are having a crack at the C2 200. They are a quality combination. Will they be any good over the 200? Well, let's just wait and see, because inside them, there is another Chinese boat. There they are, Shrey and Lin. They were second last year at the World Championships. A little bit of Chinese rivalry here in lanes three and lanes four. And here's the, the combination that could upset the apple cart. Jacomi and Corbera from Spain. They've proven themselves to be a very, very good combination. The Moldovans are always there and abouts. Kocha and Olaresa. Bran and Sprekovic from Poland in maybe the best boat of the World Cup. Look at that. That is a quality boat, folks. No problems about picking that one out. The crew from Kazakhstan, Broskova and Izkakova. And in the outside lane, lane nine from Uzbekistan, Urkanova and Shersadova from Uzbekistan. So good global spread in this C2 women's 200 meter final. But it's the middle of the field. That's what you want to be watching at the moment because it is the two Chinese boats who I think will have a very interesting tussle. Can the Spaniards upset the apple cart? That is the unknown question. But there is absolutely no doubt at all about the quality of the Chinese combination in lane four. They are 500 metre Olympic and world champions. What are they going to be like over 200 metres though? Let's see as they get away to a pretty good start too. That's Zhu and Sun from China. On their outside, it's the Spaniards who are also going very hard. But it's the other Chinese boat, the second in last year's World Championships, that Shui and Lin, who are out in an early lead. It's the Spaniards, Jacoby and Cobra, who are challenging them. Zhu and Sun at this stage falling off the pace a little bit. So it's Shui and Lin from China. It's Jacoby and Corbera from Spain. It looks like the Spaniards could be the ones who take the gold here. It's Jacoby and Corbera. Yes, they'll take the gold medal. Perfectly judged race for the girls from Spain. Second to Shui and Lin from China. And the bronze, I think, went to Zhu and Sun from China, but we'll wait for confirmation for that. But I asked at the start of the race, could Jacomi and Corbera upset the Chinese apple cart? There's your answer, folks. Yes, they could. Let's have a look at the start. Uh, very, very even race, except for the, the top of the course there. Fell away quickly. It was Shui and Lin from China who set the early pace. But Jacomi and Corbera were always there on their outside, and there they were at the halfway stage. Zhu and Sun, much better over 500 metres, hanging in there to try and uh, stay in third position. But Jacomi and Corbera, as the race got towards the finish, really flexed their muscles and came away with a good, strong win. So gold to Spain, silver to China, bronze to China with Zhu and Sun holding on. They'll be back in the 500 meter race. Just wait to see them defend their world title in the World Cup later on this weekend. But that's a great race, a great win to Spain. They add to the list of gold medal winners this afternoon. Very impressive spread of gold medals going to all corners of the globe which is what we want to see. It shows that this sport is healthy and thriving all over the, the planet. Of the final, so so the, the polls finishing in fourth position.